Jacob Ebert, and you are watching the E-Report. Tonight, we are going to be talking about the coronavirus, or as I like to call it, the end of my social life in 2020. Tonight, we are going to be talking about the coronavirus and picking it apart, talking about the important stuff. Most importantly, the symptoms. Some of the major symptoms are a fever and a dry cough. These come with many diseases, so don't run to the hospital just for a runny nose. These, disease, these symptoms usually come with many diseases, so if you tend to have them, don't freak out. Just stay home for a little bit, see if you get better. If you get more of these symptoms, then go to the hospital. Shortness of breath. If you can't breathe, and you're not going to the hospital, and you need me to tell you this, I think you've got some other things to work out. If you cannot breathe, please call your local medical authorities. Call someone. Persistent pain or pressure on your chest. This is a pretty serious one for a corona. If you feel this, then you should probably go to the hospital. And the last one, new confusion or inability to arouse. My dad told me this is something about like getting up in the morning. So if you're tired and you can't get up, then call the hospital. Okay, so there are three super important things for the coronavirus that everyone needs to know. Stay home, practice social distancing, and wash your hands. If you need someone like me to tell you to wash your hands, you've got some other things to work out. So right now, we're going to call one of my friends in Virginia who's going through a lot of different stuff with the coronavirus. We're going to call Jonah Texotic. Jonah? Hey. How's it going down there, Jonah? Uh, it's warm and sunny as always, but uh, of course, it's a little less population dense. Uh, there's a lot less traffic going on, and when I do go out to the grocery stores, people are wearing masks, and uh, they're a little bit on edge, it seems. So, so how's the virus affecting you down there in Virginia? Uh, well, as I said, it's like you know less traffic. Uh, I have to be a little more careful. Uh, don't go too close to people who maybe look sick, or I or if I feel sick, stay home. Wash my hands, of course practice good hygiene, and practice social distancing. What do you think is the most important thing overall for people to know how to stay safe during this quarantine? Okay, well, thank you, Jonah, and we'll hopefully see you soon. Thank you. So, some of the things about this virus, some things some people really need to know. First, there is no, no such thing as a vaccine at the moment. Two, you need to stay home with your families. I know, family can be torturous for some people. Well, yes, you may not like your families, you still have to stay home. Practice social distancing. If you have a long distance relationship, social distancing is gonna help. It's the way to make it work. So please, practice social distancing. And finally, wash your hands. Once again, if you need a 13 year old to tell you to wash your hands, you got some other things that are way worse than Corona in your life right now. Okay, and let's talk about some other stuff with the Corona. Like, it is mostly spread through coughing and sneezing, and mostly spread through people. So please, cover your mouth when you cough. Okay, so we're going to go down to another one of my friends who's going to help to talk to us about social distancing and to talk to us about distance learning. So, Joseph, how are you doing right now? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Good. So, how do you think that people are doing with the whole social distancing thing? Well... Uh, people are going on walks. Sing it well. Uh, I think th I think they're practicing it well. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hobbies and stuff you could do. Like you could go on walks. You could play video games. You could work on schoolwork, which is getting a lot of right now. And so, speaking of that, how do you feel about the distance learning? What's your opinion on it? Do you think it's working for kids? Uh, honestly, from the experience that I've had, not really, because I've gotten way more schoolwork from from teachers than if we did. 
than if we did have school in the first place. And it's, it's really, it's just more schoolwork, but without being able to see your friends. But I mean, you can't really go to school right now, especially with kids that come into contact with a lot of people every day with sports and, school and family. Do you think that this is the safer option for everyone to not go to school anymore? Uh, yes, right now, until, until, um, until the trend line of this virus goes down. But for right now, this is the safer option. Okay. Thanks for talking to us, Joseph. And now, Kenny and Joseph, I want to ask you both a question. If you could get everyone to do one thing to stop corona, what would you do? What would you say to do? Uh, wash your hands. Stay, ho stay home for non-essential travel. And also, Kenny, what has been your, or Jonah, what has been your experience with this whole social distancing and uh, distance learning problem? Have you had any problems? No, I mean, I also, I also have more work than I usually would have. But on the other hand, I have less distractions. So it's just been kind of annoying and tedious. And then for social distancing, I just follow the rules and uh, just smooth, smooth sailing. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for coming out and talking to me. It was so awesome to hear from you guys. No worries. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was really nice to talk to them. It's really nice to hear how it's going all the way down in Virginia, how it's quite different from it is here. And it's nice to hear with how they're not having too much trouble with distance learning and how one of them doesn't even have to start it yet. So lucky him. Anyways, so what I want to talk about is how no one is fully immune or safer than another person in this disease. This disease is very dangerous, and it's being affected many people. Also, there's one thing, one group of people that we really want to thank, thank, which is our health officials. These people are out there risking their lives with people who are infected with this disease. They're sitting there protecting them from anything that can come to them, and we really need to thank them. Because if it wasn't for them, we would not be able to say that we didn't get corona. That's it for our show tonight. And I really want to thank you guys for coming and watching. And I really want to thank my friends for coming out too. It was an amazing show tonight. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good job, man. Yeah, good job, Jacob.